Hi guys, uh, today we're talking about the Doppler effect and in this problem it says a speeding rocket scientist is in a hurry and decides to run a yellow light. He is pulled over, the scientist decides to try and use physics as a way to get out of the violation. He tells the officer that he was going a little fast and a Doppler shift must have occurred making the yellow light appear green. The officer was unable to clock how fast he was going but only saw that he had indeed ran a yellow light as it turned red. The officer, having a background in physics, goes to his car to calculate how fast this uh, Mr. Smarty Pants rocket scientist would have had to have been traveling to actually pull off this Doppler ship. The officer uses a wavelength of light of 577.2 nanometers. Uh, for the light to appear green, he uses a wavelength of light of 563.7 nanometers. For the speed of light, use 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second around your answer to two significant digits. Okay, so. Uh, in this problem, we're using these equations, and for f of o, I've, I've put what they mean over here, but it's going to be the frequency observed by the scientist. So this is the fr uh, frequency that uh, for the wavelength of light to appear green. Okay, so f of s is going to be the actual frequency emitted by the traffic light or the uh, source of light. Uh, then we've got 1 plus or minus, and for uh, for this problem we're going to be using plus because the observer was moving towards the source. If he had been moving away from the source, you'd be using a negative or a minus. U is going to be the relative speed of the observer and the source. So this is how fast would the scientist had to have been traveling towards the traffic light for the yellow light to appear green. And of course C is the speed of light. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, change these wavelengths of light into frequencies because for this problem we're using frequencies, not wavelengths. So for f of o, uh, we're going to take c, which is the speed of light, so 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second divided by uh, the wavelength of light that was supposedly observed which is the green which is 563.7 times 10 to the negative ninth meters and it's negative ninth because nano is obviously negative nine okay so then for f of s We've got the same thing, the 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by 577.2 times 10 to the negative 9th. Remember, this is the traffic light, what uh, the, the frequency of the traffic light. All right, so now we can plug these into what we find here. Okay, so uh, for this, we need to rewrite this so that we solve for u. Um, so the first thing we can do is we can pull this f of s and we're going to divide it um, and throw it on the other side. So we've got f of o divided by f of s equals 1 plus u over c. And then uh, we can take that a step further and say f of o divided by f of s minus 1, because we're going to throw that on the other side, so we're going to subtract, uh, equals u over c. And then finally for the last part, um, we're going to say f of o over f of s minus 1 that in parentheses, times c equals u, because we're going to take that c and we're multiply it by this whole thing. All right, so that is going to be uh, the equation we're going to be using. And so remember, for f of o, we are going to be taking this whole thing right here, and that is going to go right here, okay? And then for f of s, that is going to go right here. So I'm going to turn to the calculator uh, to, to do this. 
Okay, so we've got f of o, which is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by uh, 563.7 nanometers, so to the negative 9th. Okay, and then we're going to divide that by f of s, which was 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters divided by 577.2 uh, times 10 to the negative 9th. Okay, and then we're going to put that in parentheses and uh, we are going to subtract 1 and we're going to multiply that whole thing by c or the speed of light so 3.0 times 10 to the 8th and we get uh, 7.2 times 10 to the 6 meters per second okay so obviously uh, the rocket scientist was trying to pull one off on the police officer and uh, because you've got 7.2 times 10 to the 6th meters per second that is really 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 fast and uh, I did some calculations and that's roughly 16 million miles per hour so obviously the scientist was wrong and uh, that's how you calculate that kind of problem